Hey there, lads and ladies, and welcome once again back to Safe 2, the Metal Age. So, it's time to carry on with our little mission after we sealed some sort of deal with that wood lady, Victoria. Some sort of god or something to do with that of nature, I guess. So, we'll have to see what happens now. We've entered some sort of a contract with her. Right. The Builder has gifted thee with the greatest of all treasures, the future. But thine own will forges the key that opens the lock. The new scripture of the Master Builder? Karis is rewriting ancient Hammer texts. But to what end, we don't know. So you want me to find out? Yes, but there's a more pressing problem. Karis is throwing a ball for the local nobility at Angel Watch. The new Mechanist Tower in Dayport. We need to know what he is up to. You have to be there, Garrett. Tonight. He's gathering up the nobles. In progress. Angel Watch. Is this how our arrangement is going to work? You coming up with ways for me to get myself killed? Is this really Garrett, the master thief I hear talking? If danger is going to be a problem for you, then... Just give me the details. Security at the tower will be extra heavy with the city's nobility in attendance. So gaining entrance will be difficult. For you, maybe. But I won't be knocking on the front door. The rooftops aren't called the Thieves' Highway for nothing. I have some equipment for you. You should begin immediately. And also... Remember to pickpocket the party guests? You must find out whatever you can about the Cetus Project. A name our agents have overheard repeatedly. Karis has an office in the tower. Try to obtain some information there. Brilliant idea. Try to find information about Karis's secret project in his office. You do remember who the enemy is, don't you, Garrett? If your information is wrong and I end up risking my neck for nothing, this arrangement is over. Then try asking me that question again. Okay then. Oh God! Look at this list of uh, list of objectives. The mechanists are out to kill you. Get into Angel Watch via the rooftops to avoid unwanted attention. Infiltrate Angel Watch. The access hatch on the eastern side should provide you undetected entry. Spy on Karras to learn why he's throwing the party. I kind of have a feeling he might be gathering them all up to kill them. Just a hunch. Since he has that thing, those things that turn people to rust. Uh, I don't know why, I have a feeling. Break into Karis's office and find some information on the Cetus project. Find and read Karis's latest entry into the new scripture of the Master Builder. You claim you're the best, now prove it. Take to the Thieves Highway and grab 1,550 worth of loot. Truth professional doesn't leave a mess, don't kill anyone. When your objectives have been completed, get out of Angel Watch and back to the safety of the Bell Tower. Okay, interesting. So, time to head on out. Do I get to buy equipment, or are we going straight in? Oh, yeah, we get to buy... Oh, what's this? Frog Beast Egg. Smuggled into the city at great expense by Victoria's agents, these items will burst soggingly when thrown and produce a frog beast who will... Who ally with you. Okay. Scripture passage. This is the first passage of the new scripture of the Master Builder written by Karis and given to you by Victoria. Okay, well we're gonna need What are we gonna need? Loot tip. Hmm. I think we're going to take Ooh. Got a lot of money to spend, frankly speaking. I'm going to take a lot of war arrows. Definitely. Flash bombs from Vital to 10. They cost 200 each, though. Get three of those. Um, do we have some noisemaker arrows? No, let's pick one up, because we can easily recover noisemaker arrows. Don't have any rope arrows, but then again, we have vine arrows, which I guess are better. Um, these arrows can take root on grill, <coughs> grill work as well as any surface a normal rope arrow could stick in. 
Okay, so they can attach themselves to any wood or grilled surface. But I guess not like, um, um, I don't know actually. I guess maybe like just straight metal it probably couldn't attach to. Um, I mean smooth metal I should say. Um, should I take that? We can't recover vine arrows. So, we'll take the loot tip. Equip. Local merchant may not have the items you need, but he does know where you can obtain them. Okay. We'll leave that. Um, we might be able to find that stuff. Um, let's take a fire arrow, just for the sake of having it. And... Oh, God. I don't know what else. A couple more frickin' of those. Let's go. And here we are. Is this the bell tower? I guess this is the bell tower since it has a bell and it looks like a tower. Let's start out by quick saving so I don't have to redo my stuff. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Bit of a drop. <laughs> yeah. A little bit foggy out. The city looks almost bearable from up here. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like it's night time. If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the mechanist tower. Okay. Follow this road north. Well, where's our compass? North is that way. So we'll follow the road north exactly here. Ah, right, here we go. We've got this building. Oh, yeah, over here. Is that like an open window? I'll turn you up soon enough. Oh, I see. It's like a ladder here. Head down. Uh, gotta stay on my toes anyway. Hey, you gave yourself away that time. Okay, they can hear me. Stop right there. Um. This is a problem. Come on, fall asleep. Come on, fall asleep. I'm going to kill him, ain't I? Yep. <laughs> Not a great start. We know where he is now. Get started then. Hey, the city looks almost bearable from up here. If I follow this road north, it should take me right to the mechanist tower. How did he hear me before so easily? Yeah, he like heard me really easily. I wasn't really making that much noise. I think I was sprinting around too much. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, that was me jumping off that edge. Because I don't know how to dismount. Hmm? Gotta stay on my toes anyway. <laughs> Good night. Oh, we're in this time and we didn't cause problems. Oh, just drive money, eh? Thanks very much, buddy boy. Yeah, take a nap on this table. I guess this is just a little side area. There's a little bonus in it. Really easy to take out guard. It's nothing but a... Come on, up you go. Bloody ladders. Here we go. Come on. Get over this edge. Alright, a little smokestack here. Go across here, I guess. Got another open window for us. We can our way along the Thieves Highway. Uh-oh. How did he hear me? Come up and face me, thief. He heard me somehow. I didn't know that much noise. Did I drop down that edge? Nothing now. Someone make God a noise. Damn it, I wanna just step over that edge, not jump.
Yeah, you should guess it's nothing. Uh, just Comes walking along the carpet. Must have been rats. What was that noise? What? I keep making noise somehow. Wind, I guess. Upstairs, oh. Jumps. What can we hide? There's these roof bits that maybe I should have gone up. Damn it! Can't chase me up here. Don't worry, I'll find you. Yeah, good luck with that. I'll skin you yet. Oh, can he? Oh, he can see me, can't he? Pull down. Ooh, I think maybe a baby um. <sighs> when you want to climb up an edge, you can be sure as hell Garrett's not going to climb up an edge. Oh, good damn. Okay. Hey, the city looks Ooh, really bloody. horrible from up here. Bloody foam. Turn that. Damn thing off. My apologies. If, I follow this road if you're interested in what called me, and there's a 100% chance that it's people calling me about my PPI. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody PPI. It's the most annoying thing ever. Basically, I don't know if this applies to other countries, but I know in England there's this whole PPI thing. The banks can pay you for blah blah and blah blah. But it applies to only certain loans, and yeah. All I have are student loans. And it doesn't apply to that loan. That's the only one it doesn't apply to. And I've told them, oh god so knows how many times about this bloody stuff. And now all I get are automated calls um, from blank numbers. Uh, that tell me, oh yeah, you get your PPI, yeah, automated message, blah blah blah. Oh uh, yeah, it's just a frickin' pain in the ass. Right. Well, we've made it here this time, and let's quick save. And wait for this guard to patrol around. Frickin'. Uh. I've been getting a lot of just random calls on my phone. I get more random calls on my phone than I get actual calls. I don't know how my number gets out there, but it gets onto every freaking call on the list. Somehow, and then you just get a butt ton of crap. Of course I made noise. Bring it on, butt wipe. He can't get back in, can he? Oh no, yeah he can. God damn it. Damn, 
I hate this one guard. He's the most annoying guard in this bloody game. Yeah. Fucking bastard. I'm gonna quick save. Yeah, that did fail me. I thought it was going to. <laughs> I was thinking, did I get away with that? <laughs> Causing me grief. <laughs> Alright, let's finally get what I wanted to do. I gotta be careful with these bloody falling edges. Oh, potion. We got out here. We got this little edge which I could have walked along. Which there doesn't seem to be anything there though. Wow, oh, the rooftops are so dense. I'm telling you that the only stench heartier than your rotting thurric of a master is the liquor on his fetid breath. If he comes near you, any of that vermin is dead. Okay, this guy's a little chat. There we are, I managed to get off the ladder without falling. Cutting from a knock kneed, inbred pace boy such as yourself. Our good master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop. Unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd! How dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon! Our lady is a saint among mortal women! An angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her! <laughs> ah, your lady an angel? You're lucky the dockside whore keeps aren't bashing down her door for stealing their clientele! Why, just last night, I saw her out back, warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. You'd best run and rescue your helpless limp lord before he founders in his own vomit or wakes up naked in a hen coop. Scurry off, or he'll require some unnecessary ventilation. Is that a threat, you shriveled old maid? <laughs> you gotta prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You gone! You gone! You fall this time, you camel man of tunic wearing mullet An arrow in the throat of the stuff you up! Uh, have at thee! They can shoot each other. What? What the hell? Uh, oh. The purple guys weren't messing around. They actually are pretty good. Ah! What? He hit me by accident! Oh, shit. He's like, he's like looking around like, Oh, there's someone else around. I better kill him. Fight me, you coward. Holy hell. These guys just killed each other. Oh well, not really my problem. I'll just knock out the last one and then take their stuff. And face me, villain. Okay, he's there again. Oh, come on! Oh, that's so not fair! It's bloody... Ugh. You can't help but make noise climbing up the bloody ladders. Just fool, whatever. Either works fine, I guess.
Mighty fine words coming from a knock-kneed, inbred pageboy such as yourself. Our good master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a halberd. How dare you defile the name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon. Our lady is a saint among mortal women. An angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her. <laughs> ah, you're lady. We can take each other out again. You're lucky the dark side whore it's more dark here. Are bashing down her door for stealing their clientele. Why, just last night, I saw her out back warming up the stable boy. Such slander will not be tolerated while we're on watch. You'd best run the oh, damn it. There's no more dark here. Is that a threat, you shriveled old maids? You go to prick us with your sewing needles? On this side of the street, we shoot like soldiers, so don't make promises your arrows can't keep. You've gone! You've gone too far this time, you camel-mallet, tunic-wedding, mollycoddle! An arrow in the throat of us shut you up! Uh, have at thee! And here they go. I was dead already. Quick, some a guy running around in here a few minutes back. Come out and face me, villain. Yeah. This is kind of dodge. I see, he goes instantly for me. He didn't even know I was here. Hey, over here. Help! Uh, whatever. I'll find you. I'll find you. I don't think the mechanics of this game work for this sort of faction relation system. Stop seeing me. Fight me, you coward. I'll get rid of this guy, because I think I need to jump from this tower over to that roof. Come back here. Come out and face me, villain. Come on. Hurry up and give up. And then I'll use that moss arrow in order to get him. Because I can't get off this ladder without making, apparently, a mega amount of noise. Okay. I'm moving as slow as possible. Still gotta drop down onto the wood, though. Oh! You're psychic, are you? That's pretty... Oh, no, he's dead. Yep, and it's my bad. Oh my god. This level's a little bit painful. I have to say, so far, this level is painful. That is how to describe this goddamn level. It is painful. Oy. Oh. Can't reach it. Yeah. Come on. Use the ladder. Which you very rarely seem to decide to ever want to do. They'll boil his fine words coming from a knock kneed inbred page boy such as yourself. Our good master Willie wouldn't be caught near that frumpy little trollop unless he were holding her back at the end of a try this. How dare you defile the name?
name of someone so good and virtuous as the Lady Van Vernon. All lady is a saint among mortal women. Oh. An angel so pure the heavens couldn't hold her. There you go, guys. I took him out for you. Are you gonna do something for me? I think it's no. Landed on the ladder. I think I may have bugged that conversation those guys were having. Because they're just standing there even though they could see me. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Let's just progress. I'm going to make a ton of noise doing this, ain't I? Well, let's see what we can do. Grabbing the edge would be a good start. <laughs> I, I'm glad I quick saved. I knew he wasn't going to grab the edge. Pick it. Pick the arrow. Okay. Doesn't want to take the arrow. Do I have like too many or something? I have 49. No, you can take more. I mean, you could. You just didn't want to pickpocket him. For whatever reason. There we go. You're good at these whole ladder things, aren't you? You need to uh, go have ladder practice, I think, uh, Gareth. I think you're in desperate need of it. Let's quick save every inch. So I'm going to need it. Hello, golden goblet. Oh. Ah, lighting. Flickering, flickering lighting. Okay. Die way, way, way over there. You won't hear me dropping onto this, right? Uh, this surely wouldn't be here unless there was a reason, right? Something over there. Maybe it's just the other side. Maybe I'm going to go around. I'm stuck. There we are. I'm free. Run across. Now we've got a guard up here. Let's quick save. There we go, that was nice and easy. Why can't we all be like that one? Another big skylight here. Very, very big one. Door we can't use. Another sort of noble's castle. Oh, hello there. Guard. I know you're walking straight towards me. That's really not useful. Thought I saw something. Yeah, you did, but you, you really didn't. Run this body around quickly, and then we'll just run around and catch up with that other guard, and knock him out. Since this is just a go around, run around. He's got a key on him. Some key. Let's sleep now. Okay. Right. I'm gonna lie in the darkness for a bit. Alright, so let's see what we can see from up here. Oh, it's like a seat down. You're making enough racket to wake the whole of Dayport. Well, it's dark. I can't see it when I'm lifting. 
What you'll see is the heft of my sword across your brow if you don't hurry things up. Oh. There's a guard in the building, and we're both skewered if he hears you. All right, all right. But I got me a question. Do we want the gold or the jewelry? We want whatever you can carry, you taffer. Now hurry it along before we're seen. Or maybe you want to spend a lifetime or two in the Blue Coats company? The Blue Coats? Where? Oh, just hurry it up already. Okay. Well, well. Housebreakers. How quaint. Perfect. Fool's mind. How can we knock this fella out? Something huh? there. There he is. Uh oh. We can wait, Taffer. We can wait. No, you can't. Oh shit. You can if I decide not to jump. Uh oh. Okay. You know I'll eventually find you, so why don't you just come on out? Oh, I hear. Um, what? Take me, you coward. Why are they both going for me? Come on, there's another thief. Go for him. Call this a fight? Ah, that's the best you can do. Here you go. Go to sleep. You better not be dead. Look. All right. Now, I'll be taking the loot. Thank you very much. Right. That's good. Lots of downstairs. <sighs> Balcony and the ladder. This need. That's like an alternate route. And they said about the jewellery or the gold. I got the gold. Where's the jewellery? Strange. Oh well. We got the gold nonetheless. Let's head all the way down to see what we can find. Oh, boxes. Can we squeeze through? Yep, that we can. Broken elevator. Don't need it. Got a ladder here. Oh, hello. Need this pretty box. I'm trying to get a big freaking. Okay, that one isn't valuable. Okay, what's this? Okay. Interesting. It's almost like it's operated by magic. Make sure we're in the middle of it, so we don't get crushed. Oh, well this is interesting. Oh. Okie dokie. Some sort of magic. Oh, shit. <laughs> he just summoned some zombies. That's just what we need. Someone's doing zombie magic in there, guy. I think you should deal with that. But it's just not fair. The season's most ballyhooed social event, and we're not even invited? I am a Rothschild. Don't they understand that? Don't they understand how incredibly important I am? Shh, shh, I know, I know. I know, I know. You're very, very important. Zombies, 
The Bumblesons. The Bumblesons. The Bumblesons. <laughs> Uh, these guards, these guards are getting kind of annoying. Don't think you can hide for long. Let's gently nudge down. Oh, this corner's dark. Oh, come on! Come on! You're dead, aren't you? Great. <sighs> Could someone please remove the eyes from the back of these guys' heads? That would be um, most, most, most helpful to me. I'm not reading that book again. <laughs> it's just going to cause me problems. Spawning bloody zombies. Right. Oh yeah, there was that purse in the window. Oh, but it's just not fair. The season's most ballyhooed social event, there we go. and we're not even invited. I am a Rothschild. Don't they understand that? A Rothschild. How incredibly important I am. This place dark. It is. There isn't anything up here other than these fire. Good. Hello. Someone there. Can't we get some decent torches around here? I just fell down and he didn't hear me. Uh, okay. Nothing here is a, like a little storage cove. Where I can wait and then take him out. Here he comes. He's on the deck. Now, does he go in? I think he does. Hmm, actually. That was lucky. He didn't hear. Oh, there's actually a dark spot here. That's no, not dark enough to hide in. Oh. Bloody hell! Put your hands up. <clears throat> That's it. You've had it. No, I haven't. I'll be seeing you again, Chopper. This way, please. Put the yeah. egg cry home to your mummy. Just out here. Oi, not having great luck today with the bloody security guys. Getting bloody spotted every turn. Got to get some better torches. Good. Lie over there, you bastard. 
Now let me rob in peace. We need to get some valuable loot. Yeah. I could have come in from here. Much more sneaky approach. Skylight, I see gold on his table though. They all hear me! Every single person for like 10 miles hears me when I just take one step. How would I get in there? Well, seems clear. Maybe from here? Standard fireplace, isn't it? Oh no, it had a fire arrow in it. Oh fuck, there's a robot down there. That's not great. Different robot guards patrolling the streets. Hello? Hmm? Hello? Okay, calm down. There's nothing there. made that noise? No one made that noise. Just continue counting your my gold. <laughs> ah, lovely. Guess I can cut this out of the way. No. But where can I go? So it's just a way to get that money out of that room. Robot all the way down there. Marble floor. Not a fan. Lots of doors. What? We got problems here. Oh, bad guard. You'll pay for this. I need backup here. Every time I go to a new bloody building, <laughs> the car just walks through the door and stares at me. Mr. J.B. Tuttleshank, Supervisor. I just locked out. Okay, there's quite a few guards actually. I need to use a key on him. Lights? Yeah. Another key, second copy. Not going to pick it. Ah, yeah, the picks are working. On the personal safe. Hopefully we keep some nice valuables in here. Come on. There we go. What I do? Oh. What did that do? Oh. Oh yeah, the loot tip. Got some news for you. A guy named uh, Velensinia entered Dayport, and he's the only one for a couple of days. He's some kind of diamond exporter. Deals with rough stones. Well, while he's in town, he's storing a pouch of uncut diamonds at Dayport. Trader's Bank. Security there is supposed to be pretty loose. Hell, the place is on top floor of one of them marble buildings, so they must not expect any company. If you know what I mean, it should be fairly straightforward if you can take the thieves' highway. Okay. So what did this do, exactly? 
down means it's like done, right? Or up I guess means it's done. I've actually forgotten. What have I done? Read it. Crimshaw, lock the receipts in the safe this time, or I'll take, uh, or you'll taste the lash. Though I can't prove it, I suspect one of the night watchmen of having sticky fingers. Uh, if not a penny is accounted for in the morning, I will come out. Of, uh, it will come out of your backside. And another thing, don't know, will be in the morning to pick up his diamonds. Make sure you log the transfer and extend every courtesy you have available. Okay. Is this the safe? Can I... Maybe the, s the switch. Maybe it needs to be down. Ah! Hello! Diamonds! Ha ha! Very good. Everything right? Yeah, nothing else. Well, somebody's going to be disappointed, and I think somebody's going to lose a client. I heard that. And it didn't. Bloody noisy floors. Don't know if we need to get out there. Though. Close that. No one will suspect a thing. Come out and fight me. Mm, how about no? Right into the door. There we go. Ah. There is a way out here. I guess I didn't really need that loot note because I found the place before I. <laughs> Even, uh, you know, I found the place before the note actually came into use. So the notes don't tend to be too useful, actually. Ah, a door. The lock. The gander. Alright, who's making the racket? No one. Just I fell down the stairs. Find you. Just you wait. Oh, you've messed with the wrong man, oh, thief. Damn it. Come out and face me, villain. Gotta mm. be around here somewhere. There we go, it's not too dark here. But he shot me with an arrow though. Oh, hello. There's a chest, right? Yep, there's a cooking pot. Put it down. We don't want a cooking pot. Put it down, Garrett. Okay, that works, I guess. Just leave it floating in space. Is that you, Kevl? Yeah, it's Kevl. It is indeed Kevl. I'm Kevl. Hello. Red. What's this say? We have to stop meeting at the alchemist. This is the third time that woman has come by to press her nose against the glass. I don't know whether she's ogling. Uh, Grimad, or just wants to wants a love potion from old Jack, but it's giving me the shivers. Can you do anything about it? Anything valuable up there? I can't see. Oh, I'm at the level. Why 
why would they have a ladder in the chimney? Especially a wooden ladder. <laughs> Maybe it's copper in the shed. That's wooden too, yeah. No one's messing about, buddy. It's just those torches are temperamental. See if you didn't hear me drop off that edge. You're gonna turn? Yes, you are. Yeah. Take a stick. Yes, roots. Seem to inevitably lead to the same sort of area. Anyway, let's check the map. I have no clue where I am. Where am I supposed to be going? <laughs> Alright. Let's quick say I haven't done that in a bloody while. Hello, flash bombs. Maybe this is the equipment store that the note would have said about. Well, whatever. We've got whatever is here. Now, I don't think there's anywhere else to really go. So that tower there, but it doesn't seem to have too much of interest. Let's head back this way then. Down the ladder. Come on, down we go. All the way down, into the fireplace. Oh, this doesn't lead anywhere. That door doesn't lead. It just stops. So I have to go back. Alright, so while we're here, in the dark, Since he bloody shot him. It'd be nice if taking away their arrows like that would actually prevent them from shooting. That would be pretty cool. Because, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> what are they going to shoot at me? Frickin' nothing. Trying to work out. Oh god, Baron's way. Angel watch. Um, I don't know how to get to Angel's watch. I guess this way. Oh, I think that's Angel watch. Where that guard is. No will. This will be nothing. How would I? Come out where I can see you. Don't spot me. Don't spot me. Don't spot me. Do not spot me. Just you wait. We do not have anything that would be useful. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's close. That'll work, I guess. I don't have a sword. Well, I do have a sword, but I don't have an arrow. No need for alarm, ladies. Just passing through. Yep. Just passing through. Don't worry about me. I am a friend. Thank you. Anything in the fireplace? Nope. Luckily, leaning in doesn't cause me to burn, so I don't have to waste a water arrow checking. Is there anything else out there? Doesn't look like it. So I guess if I have to pass through... Is someone there? Sorry, but I need to pass through. Alright, you go sleep with your friend over here. Now, 
Where on earth am I? Oh, I'm apparently around Angel Watch. Apparently, I'm apparently right around it. Oh, maybe it's well that big building with the big angel on it. I guess It'd probably the Angel Watch. That's a guess. Uh, how do I get up to it? Ah, I see. Drunken guard. I'll look around the edge of him. Look at all the bloody wine here. What? How'd you stop me? Come on, you're drunk. Just go to sleep, buddy. You're drunk. Don't need to be dealing with thieves. Look at how many bottles of wine he's drunk. I don't think this guy would just be drunk. I think he'd be dead. Ah, thanks, game. Thanks so much for dropping me off of that edge. So, that's the castle of the future. I'll take my tenement any day of the week. Castle of the future. Well, there's frog beast things. I guess I could use them to take out um, robots, maybe. I'll just distract the robots. <laughs> Go, frog! Distract this robot! Ribbit. Oh, let's quick save since we're here. That was Clang. Tower. Maybe tower security isn't as tight as I thought. Maybe tower security isn't very tough, or maybe it's a trap? <laughs> maybe. No, I guess she wouldn't. Victoria wouldn't, you know. Brotheran, the guard on the office door shall be changed upon every three hours. Though I trust that our guests shall be not be curious enough to attempt entrance. For further precaution, however, Father Carus hast entrusted me with the sole key. Most uh, of the alarms and watches that protect the tower have been disabled to prevent our guests from causing any mishaps. While I expect the nobility to mind their manners, remain thou ever vigilant. Interesting. What's this? This is a lift. That's a definite lift. Now there was another route through here, wasn't there? Like over here or something? No, no, no let's check this one. Because it leads up immediately. Oh, come on, Gareth. Grab the edge. And don't fall off anymore. You're just breaking your own legs. There's no need to do this malarkey. You could just not break your own legs, and then you'll be healthy. I don't know. I'm going for steps. Just nip into this little alcove. You can take a nap in here, buddy. Nothing here. Wait, fire arrow? No. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Let's quick save and have a look. Oh, jeez. It's a bit of a fall. That? Nothing. Sorry, lady. What? Sorry about that. But these things have to be done in a thief's line of work. Well, I'll put you on your bed. There you go. You can at least be comfortable. But uh, you'll be a damn sight poorer when I'm done. There we go. Nice gold. I wonder why they bring so much gold going to like a party like this sort of thing. What have we got in here? We got a brush and a mirror. Is that mirror worth anything? No. What's this? 
Just a light. There's just an empty room. I'm surprised that mirror wouldn't be worth anything. Little hand, little silver hand mirror. You're worth a little penny, I'm sure. Where's he going? Not this way, is it? Oh, she's going over here. I'm gonna wait here. She might come through this door. Oh, yeah, she is. Perfect. Come with me. There we go. Saw something. No, you didn't see anything. You got your back turned to me. Uh. Any money? Oh god, don't fall in the fire! Get out of there! Bloody hell. Good job I'm looking after these bloody nobles. Not like I'm causing the problems to begin with. What's that? A recorder. Whoever thou art, stand for. Message number five. It be your created beauty to bring us joy, for the joyful of spirit walks the longest. And in this gallery we find beauty. Fine guest, thou surely have precious works of art in thy home. Here too the servants are of use. They are completely trustworthy. At first hint of trouble they will call to the nearest guard. Take some time to appreciate our gallery, then Vilnia will escort Only you to the ballroom. It's amazing how these people can distinguish that it's me making noise. And not like other guards walking on the metal railings. The problem is, is I can't get her. If I take one step onto those metal railings, she'll hear me. Okay, I have a plan. <laughs> I'm gonna save first though. Oi! And oi! Okay, the robots heard a malfunction. We made it across, luckily. No one in this room. No secrets. There's a painting up there, but other than that, nothing. Oh. A noble taking a little wonder. This will learn you. Nobles shouldn't leave their rooms. Alright. Have a nap. Backwards, but whatever. Sounds like a little robot somewhere. Okay. Third floor, ah, the stairs then. Okay. What's in here? It's a cleaning cupboard. Interesting. Okay. Over here we've got some sort of a library. Come here, you. Come on. You take a nap right here. You've been reading so much. You need a good rest. No one. Okay. That's it. Is that one guard in here? Maybe there's a guard on the upper floor of this library. Let's go up. Alright. 
and oh yeah, it's one of those robot things by the mind controlled people. What's that? Oh. Speak. Guess it was nothing. Huh? I've spotted him. <laughs> mm. The Reapers work. Guards. Who are you on about? Message number two of six. Two of six. Greetings again, guest. I pray your spirits do not suffer for my absence. I present to each a gift. A the gift. most wondrous yet of my innovations. A living worker suited to all household tasks. Oh, that blue Ready person. always to perform your bidding. I call them the servants. The servant knows not how to raid or gossip. The servant knows only how to tirelessly perform thy will. Be it cooking, cleaning, or gardening. Please accept them with my gratitude. But the tour continues. Pray to follow Vilnia once again. Hmm. Well, these people weren't following the tour. They were just hanging about in the library. Library. Nothing over here. Damn. Where's all the expensive stuff at? Hey there, guard. How's it going? Oh, hey there, little robot dude. Little robot dude, do you want to be taking a nap? Because I've got one right here for you. Come on. Okay. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working. Oh dear. Now we have a new problem. That's the point, Margaret. Sorry, Margaret. I'm gonna be taking a little nap. Right. Footsteps. Very close footsteps. Footsteps stop. I wonder if maybe they fixed the robots so you can't disable them with water anymore. Because I swear I got a number of direct hits. Oh. Oh, he's there. There we go. I wondered where you were. over here. That'll be nice and hidden. Just in case. Oh, she had some money on her. Good job I checked then. And you. There we go. Right. Quick save, because I haven't done this for a while. It's like an alarm there. Hmm, I think this is probably the one who heard me when I uh, walked on the metal flooring. Can't get behind these things. Okay, fair enough. Wonder if maybe there'll be a secret switch or a strange room with nothing in it. Oh, 
Hold on. Can't open that one. Can't open that one. So we need to lockpick them. Okay. That can be done. Yeah, that one's open. Let's try opening this one. Maybe the same lock. Yep. Let's see. Gold. And a healing potion. Save the healing potion for now. Even though we do have a little damage. Hmm. This is that window I saw. I remember seeing this when I was down there. It's a quick save so I don't fall to my doom. There's nothing really out here though. Just that bending over angel. I don't think I can make that <laughs> somehow. I don't think I'm capable of doing like a curved jump. Let's get this open. There we go. More gold. Sweet. Alright, carrying on this way. This is going to be one hell of a long mission. The entirety of this mission could have just been an angel watch. <laughs> Not that I mind that. Long missions are pretty good. But this is quite excessively long. Another one of these. Similar to before. Got a lift. Not going to use the lift. So we'll use the stairs. Oh, hello. Who's there? Wandering around. Wandering around is not a good idea for you, is it? There's nowhere to really hide these guys. That'll do. Just a big pile of people. Like that big pile of people. Oh, people have been closing these doors. Damn robot stuck. But I can't disable it. It seems to be fine. It can't go anywhere. It can't bother me. Okay, fifth floor. I'm guessing Karis's office is on the roof. Yeah? What mischief this? Show thyself. Nope. Good. Perfect takedown. Get him in the shadows. Let's carry on along. Are we taking these golden goblets? Objective complete. Would that be getting the money? Yes, it is. Okay. Activate all the voice messages to hear Carlos's messages. Okay, so we need to find all of those things. And obviously get into his office. Um, find and read last entry into the new scripture of the Master Builder. So he's rewriting the religious text. Oh, Master Guild uh, guest list. 
Okay, in attendance, in attendance, declined invitation, pagan sympathizer. <laughs> no response, in attendance. Oh wait, this guy, Ramirez, that's the guy that didn't get the invitation or whatever. <laughs> Master Willy, drunk. That was that guy that the guys were arguing about. Who was the lady? Declined invitation. I don't know who the lady was. I can't remember her name, but I remember Willy. Okay. These bloody doors. The doors are busted. There we go, right. Let's get ourselves in here. This looks like a place where we would have something of expense. These plates are worthless. Do we have a message? Message number four of six. Oh, we've missed three. Privilege guest. I trust you will enjoy this feast presented by the servants I have given you. Imagine, a short while ago, these servants were consigned to an asylum. Mentally feeble, they were of no use to anyone. Now they are safe and productive. Now they know happiness. Would that I could be with you tonight, for the servants make excellent cooks. After you dine, friend Vilnia will guide the arm to the gallery. Okay, let's carry along then. Still need to find three more messages. Find out what that noise was. <laughs> I'm sorry, servants, but uh. There's no helping you now, I don't think. Noble's just eating like cheese, bread, and apples. It's fine dining for you. Not exactly cooking, though. Um, is this the same? I think it is. I think that's the same message I read before. I saw a guardian enter somewhere. Is he? Oh, this is like cooking closet. Oh, these plates are valueless again. What have we got in here? Is this where they keep the fine china? Let's find out. Maybe it's the silverware. Hmm. I wonder if anyone makes gold silverware or something. Gold silverware. Duh. <laughs> gold cutlery, I should say. I mean, this is a golden plate, I guess. So. Hmm. Someone is there, then show thyself. Shh, got her arms a bit close. There's a lot of lights around. My inch I'll search till I've found thee. Come on, let's head down here while that guy's searching for me. Does this just take me back a floor? Yeah, this is just taking me back a floor. This isn't any good. All is quiet once more. Thank yeah. you to Callus. For Callus' sake, is there someone there? No. Rats, all filthy and unholy. Oh. Sounds like someone's doing some drilling. I hope that can't be picked up. Oh god. I bet it can. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, for the sake of the recording, I am going to stop here and carry on later when this drilling has stopped. So until then, guys, we'll just have a break here. So, yeah. Hey, to you, it will seem like no time. For me, it might be an hour or so. So, see you in a bit, guys. Bye.